Hi everyone and welcome back to what is definitely going to be the final episode. So if you've made it all the way through and you've watched every single one, I mean a huge thank you to you. You are a dedicated viewer. Um, if you're just popping in because it's the final one because you're interested or you've seen some of them on or off, if you've been into Twitch or not, I mean either way I appreciate all of you popping in. But uh, uh, yeah, if you have managed to make it all the way through, a special thank you to you. Uh, let's see, so... Uh, we just had a quick crash and save. Uh, I think it saved and then crashed, but none of these doors seem to have opened like I told them to. But this one did, so it definitely didn't. It definitely didn't full crash. Uh, but we do have to go and redo some of these. So that's not a major issue. I'll just open these up. They are pips on the beach, is what we said. Um, so yes, this is the final episode. Basically. We don't have much to do. We've got to get the final dupes in. We've got to sort some clothes out. And um, I think that was it. Was that it now? Or have we got actually got anything left? Uh, we've got to get the juicer going, of course. But the juicer is coming. The meal lice should be, hopefully, in the infinite food storage now. Should have landed over here. Uh, let's see. A lot of stuff in here. New gas pipe for us. I don't see any... Am I being blind? Where is the uh, meal lice? There's no meal lice on that list, is there? Uh, I did turn it off these so they're, they're no longer cooking it, I think. I hope. Uh, because that was... Oh, I turned it off those, but I didn't turn it off these. So we just turned them all into pickled meal. Great. Uh, yes, hello for the grand finale. So I did lose... Yeah, damn it. I've lost a bit of uh, uh, meal lice doing that because I forgot those four, so that's annoying. I hope we should get some more. I don't know if we need some more. Yeah. Yeah, he's in. I really hope these get finished. I mean, we've got eight cycles, seven cycles before these finish. And then they've got four cycles to drop. I might send some dupes in here to go and harvest them which is not really the intent but I mean if that speeds us up and we need to do it we will do it because like I say this this has to be the final episode so we've got to get finished uh, we might do what we need to do to speed this along and then um other than that I will I'll try and do a bit of a probably long form base tour here like I say I will aim to do a, a dedicated YouTube video which is the uh the shorter version of it but uh we can at least, we can, I can waffle my way through that on here without any editing. So you guys get the uh, full version right. Uh, next in is uh, Onga. And that brings us to 100 on this planetoid, I think. I think one's in a rocket. Just uh, set that up. There you go. Like I said, I, I did not plan to have 100 of you guys. So this is way too many. Uh, also, I'm really not convinced this works with like three or four caretakers, but uh, there you go. Yes, yeah, so we have 100. 100 dupes. That's a round number. Uh, it's quite a big number as well. Uh, I think we should be getting the tickle tootsies down here. Lots of cuddle pip cuddles. Are these? Okay, these aren't meant to be open. Yeah. Okay, one. Open some more of these. There we go. So yeah, we'll um, I'll I'll do that wrap up a little bit later on. Obviously, as we get towards the end of the the video, end of the run, I'll do a summary then rather than do it now. But in the meantime, we've just got to uh, wait for the meal lice to come in, wait for the bristle blossoms to come in. Uh, I wonder if we can do anything with the clothing now. Uh, let's let's try. Who is this listed by? Who doesn't have a suit? Okay, Alarat. So I'll try and assign these here, but I think what happened was dupes that were on the second planetoid, obviously I can't assign them from here, um, but it still kind of lets me, even though I can't do it. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to try and assign these like this, and then uh, the ones that are on the second planetoid won't get anything, and I think we have to ship them through. So we'll do that with the... Um, uh, we'll do that with the teleporter. Yeah, so Alara It's just, it, it won't stick. Uh, 
and Andy won't stick because I think for a second. I swear Alarat was here. Uh, this is not a great system, uh, to be honest. It should say, you know, not on this planetoid, can't assign or something like that. That would be, that would be super useful. Uh, I know he he isn't here. I remember that. Isilla isn't here either, actually. All right, no, Isilla is here actually. Uh, Jonas. Let's try, why has he got cut off? Oof. Uh, let's try Kem. I think Kem is here. Let's try Jonas. There you are, Kem's here. He has a nice pink suit. Madagaya. Uh, MK person's here too. These guys might be uh, fresher in. So they didn't get assigned clothes in the first round. Oh, actually, but this is it, isn't it? Anyone that doesn't get clothes now is, in, is on the second planetoid. So this is the right time to do it. Okay, I guess we're starting at the top again. Nancy. Off and off. I don't know why it's done that. I guess everyone's getting there. That line has just come in. Oh, I'm drowning. Hello, welcome to the uh, only dress up uh, stream. That's what we're doing. Uh, OP. Uh, I'm not actually sure how to send these through the uh, the teleporter, to be honest. Because they're all different stuff. Do they? I don't know if they count as one commodity or what, but we'll find out shortly. So bear with us if you want to find out how to ship these. Um, Reaper, okay. Shadow. So, so many dupes, so many of you guys. Whoa. It's just not liking me clicking on that. Uh, that would be. Uh, Ten gal. Mm, T, aren't we? Got to ignore the ones that come back. Hammer. Alright, could be. Uh, this is a bit repetitive. Some stuff it only is repetitive. When you have 100 dupes, you have to repeat things. Okay, and wolf rat. Oh god, there's more. There's more of you. World potato and Z control. Z control? I'm pretty sure you're on the second one, right? Okay, right, that's everyone. Um, in terms of shipping. Okay, firstly, have we got all of the cobalt across? I think we have. At least everyone has now statues and things, which is cool. Uh, this, I guess... I'm just going to close this up. I mean, we'll just leave the plug slots here. That's fine. We also do need to finish this base back off again. I have uh, cut some holes in it for access. I guess this one's kind of going to have to stay. I really... Uh, I guess we just do this. Hi, War Cannon. Welcome in. Welcome into the finale. Um, we're still draining this a little bit. Yeah, okay, it is going. So this is still draining. Um, it's not ideal. We'll see where we get to. We need to get that drained. Um, so I guess on here we can take off the refined metal. We can take off cobalt. Uh, it's about to us to catch up. <laughs> this is the f yeah, this is the final one. Walk out. So spoilers. Spoiler alert. Uh, yeah, the. The VODs will have come out a little bit slower for this one because uh, because I'm away I'm going to put them out in a bit more of a slower manner so that there's no huge gaps on YouTube so you guys notice there's been fewer the last couple of weeks then that's why just to try and keep it more consistent Ooh. okay going for a save yeah, I am looking forward to a new run because then the, the saves will be shorter and the dupes thinking will be more sensible. Um, right, so what I want to put on is clothing. I don't know how this works. Is there actually a way for me to do... Ooh. Um, we might have a problem because... Is it primo garb? I think it's primo garb. That is very confusing. So I assume these are primo garb. Uh, yes, it looks like they are. Hmm, that's very weird. Never seen that one before. Uh, uh, there you go. Okay. I 
I think that's it. Oh no, Primo Garb is still coming. I don't know where from. Maybe from the printing pod, actually. Let's see. We'll just wait till the errands run out and then... Um, no penny deliveries. Okay. Okay. I think, yeah. Then on the second planetoid, we should have um, more to hand out. Where do these come out? That's the input. Where's the output? Uh, out here. Okay, well, that's convenient. Nice. Uh, okay, so then I suppose we just have to assign these to these guys. I don't think I've actually done any of these, so it would be a lot. Try bear with me for this uh, repetitive one. I think Alarat's dead. Uh, well, that should be the new Alarat, I don't know. No, we've got to repeat this, and then when the new dupes come in, we're going to have to uh, do the same thing. That's fine. Okay. It, it really should split these by uh, planetoid, so you can't assign it to someone that's not on the planetoid, because it's kind of pointless. Look, come on. There we go. Take one. Yeah, Alarat's definitely not here, so I don't know why that's even an option. Also needs to remove dead dupes from this. Why? Hmm. A bit sketchy, because some of these are just coming back. Okay. I assumed it wasn't working because these guys are here, but maybe that wasn't even correct. I don't know. Some of them just don't want suits. They refuse. There isn't anything about them being like unfashionable in their traits that means they can't wear it. I'm sure there isn't. But I swear some of these guys are not taking suits. Well, I mean, I can only, I can only try. If I keep doing this and they refuse, then I don't know. Uh, game, please. Maybe they're dead as well. They might they might also be dead tubes that are somehow still on here. I swear I've already given these tubes clothes. MK person is definitely alive and on the other planetoid, so I don't know what's going on. F -O -J. Hmm. Now they should I mean they should do for the funeral, right? I mean that's that's poor form really. Can you be well, I mean, I'm pretty sure I've gone through every single dupe uh, and clicked them, like, probably multiple times. Um, so if if they don't have a uh, outfit after this, then that's kind of on them. You know? Randy is definitely on the other planet, sorry. Anyway, I'm pretty sure I got most dupes, so... Uh, spend it. We try. We, we've given it a valiant effort. Tim. Carly. Wolfrat. World Potato. That's it. Right, that's it. We've got a few left over, so I don't know if I made too many or some bug or something weird. Okay, and then any new dupes, we do have to assign them one, but that should be fairly easy. Um... Okay. I guess we need to put them on the guest schedule too. Can't remember which caretakers are where actually. This is a good question. So we have two caretakers, right? Or three. We've got head caretaker, assistant caretaker, and dog's body. Good that these are just in a random order. I mean, that's always helpful. Uh, so dog's body is on the second planetoid. Head. Uh, and I think assistant caretaker and head caretaker are over here. They are. And then Razor said he would also be a um, be a caretaker. So kind of an unofficial one. You are a... Yeah, Razor's there. Um, yeah, so I mean, I think in realistically, my idea was to have the caretakers do like the few bits that can't be done automatically. So the cooking... Um, bit of 
branching, that kind of thing. Uh, and that to be enough. I mean, I think with a 30 jute base, three caretakers will be fine. But with a 130 jute base, uh, three or four is definitely not enough. So annoyingly, uh, I think fundamentally it doesn't work. I would, I really in practice need more caretakers. Uh, what I'm going to do though for the runners, I think I, I'll just, I'll move everyone onto the other schedule and kind of just call it there. Basically. Um, it's, it's, it's not worth the faff, I don't think. Uh, so yeah, we'll just kind of, we'll call it a win, even though it's, it's a bit dubious. I think the water situation here is also a little bit dubious or uh, we are we are storing now but a lot of it's coming from the second planet toy too so i don't know if that's sustainable i think it is but it, it's close to sustainable it might not be a hundred percent and i always always like sustainable nice the oxygen's good though that's so definitely a win on the oxygen everything is uh, looking nice there okay so if we sorted the clothing now it's really just a case of dupes and I think we're waiting on the bristle blossoms really um i just wonder if there's any reason why i shouldn't put a load more dupes on the guest schedule uh, I, I actually wonder what these guys are doing cook supply harvest is that all they've got ranch ah this guy's going to the critter feeder priority one now so it looks like we're actually kind of doing all right in which case what we'll do why not Hey, uh, you're not going to miss the last luxury stream. You're part of your condens. <laughs> Welcome inside control. Yeah, I think I just, uh, you got you some clothes there, so we're okay. Um, let's see, what is this? This is the working list, is it? Um, what I'll do, is certainly anyone without a hat is definitely going on the, going on the guest schedule. I suppose these guys are on the second uh, toy too. So here we are. Let's start offloading people onto the second planetoid. Oh, sorry, onto the guest schedule. Uh, we'll we'll leave a few because I don't want everything to shut down. We're not quite there yet. I guess there's no way to do this in bulk. Uh, I assume they didn't expect for us to move a hundred dupes onto a different schedule, and therefore didn't put in any way to automate it. Oh gosh. Let's do that. Oh, we've got another dupe. We've got to take as many dupes as we can to get squeeze as many subscribers in before the end. Uh, okay, and next up. Uh, welcome in uh, Miko Y. There you go. Into the second planetoid. And now what we have to do is dress up. Although, how many have I got left? I only have three left here, so uh, let's keep it running. Nico White and all well, schedule wise you can go straight onto that. Uh, okay, dog's body's over here. I don't want to take too many away. Okay, so in terms of the snow in uh, the second planetoid, we've got Pyrocan here, Wolf Rat, uh, Dog's Body obviously. I think we'll just take it down to minimum numbers. Uh Gorgonich. I'll try and keep uh let's see engineer we're going to need engineer ranches and things. Nenesh uh, the farmer, I don't know. And the main planetoid, Cam, you can you can take a break, Cam. Leo, you can take a break too. Time skate. Uh, are you there, Dark? Dark, bring it. Just a few. Um, and thank you for the follow, Black Tarantula. Uh, Z control. How about we give you we give you a break? There you go. Uh, how many critters are in the colony? I am not sure. Is there an easy way to count that? Uh, Z control. Oh, it should be on the um, colony summary, shouldn't it? I'll have a look in a sec. Uh, Z control. You've now been retired. You can now uh, go chill. Why is my keyboard not working? Okay, right. that'd be good. Oof. Let's restart this. Oh. What's going on up here? Is this coming water again? For God's sake. Just keep getting water over here. Uh. Okay, I'm going to try and unlock this door. 
Exactly, you've <laughs> been retired. Uh, let's see if we can get this done. I'm going to do a quick save. I'm going to do a manual save actually before we go out here because this is risky. It's risky stuff. Don't want to lose any dupes. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it, Sadar. I got it. I just want to try and get this uh, working again because we've got a lot of carbon dioxide build up. Right, the saves take ages. Um, Um, it should be on here, shouldn't it? Duplicates, as the numbers going up and up and up. Uh, domestic, this is domesticated critters. Uh, 200, 300, 290, 300-ish. Um, and then 80-ish wild ones. So in total about 350, 400 critters, something like that. Let's uh, see if we can get these done. We might even be able to replace these, I don't know. I think I'm just going to leave it, to be honest. Yeah. Oh no, this has to be a mesh tile, because there's already water on here. Damn it. Yeah. I mean, it's not running too badly, given how many dupes I've got and how many critters I've got. It's... Yeah, no, it, it could be worse. I think we can dig this up. I don't know. I don't want to cause more mass scoldings, but... Let's see, see if we can do it. Uh, let prioritise that. And get rid of this nasty carbon dioxide down here. This bedroom's a bit uh, sketchy right now, so... Uh, okay. Hopefully we've got enough glass. I think we do, yeah. 460 is enough. I mean, not that we really need these, to be honest, so... Why is this... Why is this unreachable? Okay. Well, I guess, screw it. Let's lock it down. For some reason they can't get up here. I don't know what that is. That seems weird. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll run through the stats for the base as well. Uh, I suppose, really. I mean, I think what we'll do... I'll just try and get the juicer going. Yeah, how long is that going to take? Uh, if it's going to take a little while. It's going to take four cycles... Four... Three cycles for the first bristles blossoms to come. Um, I suppose we can... Uh, we can har harvest them just to get them done, right? I mean, three cycles. How long have we got left on this stream? We're not halfway through yet, so... Um, yeah, I'm just wondering when to do the wrap-up. I don't want to... I don't want to hang around for ages and then... Uh, uh, you know, just chat about stuff and then... end up doing the wrap-up afterwards and then go hugely over. That would be pointless. <laughs> I may as well do the wrap-up earlier and then uh, finish everything. And try and finish on time. That'd be good. Uh, no, if it's if it's open, then no. But I, I did it by locking, so I didn't actually do it with the permission of that. So it's fine. Everyone's fine. Uh, yeah, we really need this this water out though, because uh, then the we can actually deal with the carbon dioxide in here a bit better. I wonder if um. Hmm. We'll wait for, try and get the water drained out, although this might take more time than time we have, because this has been draining for a while. And it's getting there though. Um, it might be better to dig like a little uh, extra hole down the bottom just to catch the carbon dioxide. We can do it down there. Because uh, I mean, generally we're okay, but this left side's not great. Water. Um, yeah, it's not bad, it's not bad. Okay. See, so yeah, I mean, I mean, right now, I think we are literally just we're just waiting for bristle blossoms to grow. So let's just uh, keep going with the schedule bits because we're going to need to move a load of dupes over. 
Joe, you can come across. Caretakers are definitely going to stay. But what is it going? I might leave some ranchers because I think we need a lot of ranchers. But we're certainly done with the digging, so we can uh, retire you guys. We got. This is all right. This is what we're down to now. We're down to. Oh, we have caretaker George as well, don't we? That was four. So with um, with Razor, that'll be five. That'll be all right. Uh, defuse. Oh, we, oh, we still need some cooks too. Okay, right, I'm gonna leave it like this for now. Um, and then yeah, when we kind of go final, final, we can uh, uh, we can put them on full retirement. But hopefully, let's just double check what's going on over here. And most of the dupes now should be chilling. And hopefully not using up too much oxygen. Keeping up. But, uh, there we are. What a happy base, happy subscribers. I built lovely great halls that are fully decorated. Just so they could sit down on the floor in a random room and eat there instead. Uh, look, well, great. If we're going to do that, we may as well decorate this flipping room, I suppose. Here you are. Look, if you're going to eat here, we'll, we'll make it nice. How about that? Um, put a... An aero plot in here. I mean, I don't know why you can't just eat in the place I, um, I told you to eat, but okay. I mean, are there enough seats? That, how many is in here? This is 12. It's 30 minus one of them. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that might be why. Um, there's only 60, uh, there's only 60 seats. And a hundred dupes, that's a bit of an oversight. My bad. Okay, well let's put that in. Uh, iron ore. Are we out of reed fire? We can't be out of reed fire, but you have a laugh. I'm not out of reed fire. Whoops, okay. Well that at least explains their behaviour. Doubled up there. Uh, okay, well that'll be 72, but I'm actually still short. Which is rather annoying. I suppose, I suppose what we should do is... Let's, uh... Let's delete this. Hopefully the radiation is not too much. So that'll be 84, and then I'm still a bit short on seats. So, uh, yeah. Any reason why I couldn't just move this one to somewhere over here? Uh, other than I'd have to put it on the... Oh no, I could just... Ooh. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Connect. Connect that to that, although this is going to overload this wire now, isn't it? Which one is this on? This one. Uh. Okay, we'll do, we'll do that. And we'll, we'll recover this room as well. Uh, and then that'll give us 96. That'll give us 96. And then we're pretty close. There we are. Probably we'll wait till the end. Yeah, well, we had a bit of a rough start to this stream, to be honest. I was not very happy. But, uh, got there in the end. Oh, we don't need these water pipes as well. Oops. Oops. It's a dodgy copy paste job. Okay. Oh, one sec. Yeah. Nice. Hopefully the few dupes we've got left can build this now. Uh, there's not a lot of dupes left to build things. Or decorate, or cook, or ranch. Oh dear, we're going to run out of everything. Oh well, I think we've got, we have few enough tasks them to get this done. So, uh, and uh, a little bit. These are the furthest ones here, 92. 1.7 cycles, there we go. 
Uh, and then we're going to wait four for them to drop off as well. But we'll see. Things I don't want to do the wrap up and then just like uh, or do the do the base summary and then go back to waiting for ages for this to finish. Kind of feels like the thing I want to do at the end, but the end is rapidly approaching. Let's see. Oh yeah, I could uh, pop these seeds back in here. Yeah, I am conscious now that I don't have a lot of dupes. So, giving them stuff to do. They might actually just get stuck doing uh, cooking. <laughs> That's the thing, because the cooking is not very well automated. I hope not. I hope I still have enough to cover other things. We'll see. I don't want to take some guys off the guest schedule, but I did just give them a lot of building to do. Hopefully we can... We're only going to get through it fairly slowly, so you know we don't need 100 dupes to turn up and do everything. We'll be all right. Cannibal hamsters on the decorating, I think. We'll make the the run to the to the food very nice. We'll decorate it. Uh, anyone on this? Yeah, well, this, this, my problem is I'm worried that they're going to get stuck on doing all this other stuff. Not have enough time. Oof. Still, have, why do we have mushroom over here? Okay, we got time. We got time. All right, we'll just wait. We'll just wait for them to get around. And we'll do eventually. I hope. Either that or they're just going to get uh, distracted by us. So I may have to use yellow alert to do anything now. Because <laughs> the cooking, I think, is taking too much priority and there's not enough dupes. I think most of these dupes are actually just on rest, so... We may have to yellow alert everything. I'll just do this one at a time and then we'll work our way through. Uh, otherwise, I, I think we're literally going to get zero done if we don't. Don't do this, so we'll be fine. We'll just do one task at a time and uh, get across. This isn't really critical. I would just like more little pinch of pepper plants planted, and I think moving the seeds up here is going to help them out. We have quite a few seeds actually, just in the wrong place. Steps a chance. Eight. That's nine. Oh. Nice, we got eight there, so that'll give the pip something to do. It's now downtime as well, so even more chilling. Uh, they have been managed to get through this, so I don't know if there's a proximity thing as well. Okay, uh, next to dupe in. I think we might only get two more dupes after this, so... Uh, next up is uh, Gatling420, welcoming Gatling. Give support, let's pop that on there. Uh, we have we've got one suit left, Citrus Spandex. Uh, maybe we we'll have to make a couple more of those, schedule. Be a guest. Uh, yeah, it's looking like we can get about two more in, so I might. We've got snazzy, we've got a couple of snazzy suits. Well, what are we going to go with? Uh, cubist knit suit, spiffy overalls. I'll grab three of those and I think we'll be covered. We'll be fine. All right. Anyway, we're getting there with this, so that's good. Uh, that's yeah, and then they've done very little of this, which is not so good. Okay, right, it's daytime again, so I think we're gonna go to 
I'll just prioritize getting these done. I think they're already on it anyway, so no major issue. Alright. Come on. But yeah, I probably will have to start wrapping up in a few minutes anyway. Or not, or not. Doing going through a full base running, because I think it's gonna take me at least 15 minutes to go through everything. We'll see. I've no idea. I'm just guessing. So, um, I don't want to leave it too late, even if we haven't quite got there with the other bits. We'll just assume they'll come good in the time. Um, always go with the Joya. The Joya, I think, is objectively the best part. It's the most versatile. Okay, get those planted, please. Nice. So many dupes. Oh my god. This probably needs to be the thumb. Wow, well, it can't be the thumbnail because I've got to do the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> What's well, all the red background? It's this star bringer. I mean, it's 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 the base. It's the base. That hopefully that answers the question. <laughs> it needs to be red. Okay. It's done. It's done. One more. Cool. Let me see. Is the yellow alerting working or? Uh, I don't know if the guys on downtime actually. Do the guy, does the downtime? Do they start doing yellow alerts or not? I don't know. Hi, Danathor. Welcome back. You just catching us towards the end. The end of the run. The end of the episode. The end of the end of the stream. End of everything. For now, of course. Exactly. The two, I mean, well, the morale is just crazy high, so uh, it makes sense to me. The uh, singing, so okay, get that done. I'm pretty sure the dupes are actually on downtime are helping with this, so that's nice. They are. They're, they're taking a quick break out of their day to uh, to help out. I don't love how much that's pulling, but there you go. Everything's going to be yellow alert, otherwise nothing is done. Okay. Turn this down for a sec. Suffocating, desmic. Okay, the suffocating beach is back. Come on, come on, wait. It's so slow. Incubators do take a while to build. How many dupes have critters in their bedroom? Um, I think three people asked for uh, long hair slexers, and I think two asked for cuddle pips, if I remember off the top of my head. I think it's five. Either four or five. Oh my god, this is just taking forever. You're just going to be here all night building one thing. These are the dupes that have no skills because they just went straight on holiday. Right, finally got there. Let's, uh, so what I'm going to do is copy this onto this and then deconstruct this. Oh, and that means we also... Oh, damn it. Uh, I mean, this can stay here in theory. Uh, okay, I suppose technically. I'm going to have to move that up to there, but... Oh well. Nice. Okay, <laughs> beach. It does, yeah. It was that weird feeling about a beach where everyone aged really quickly. Was that, was that called the beach or something else? Really weird. I just saw, like, somebody for it on YouTube. I never saw the actual film. Uh, yeah. Okay, right. But, okay, so here we are. Given the time, I think I've got about 20 minutes left on the, the end of this normal episode. So, obviously, this is not a normal, normal episode. Um, but I do want to also try and keep it to relatively normal length because uh, we've got bits to do. I don't want to be up super late and all the rest of it. Um, 
I will probably start doing the... Yes, that's the one. Um, the control, you know what I mean. Um, I will probably start doing a kind of full... I'll do for you guys a full base summary. So I'll just try and quickly talk through everything, everything I've built, everything I've done. Uh, that'll be interesting. Uh, let's see, get rid of that. There. Uh, there we are. Uh, I can. We can. Uh, we can then. Yeah. So in terms of stuff left to do, I mean, there are. There's more dupes to come, but I'll just take them. Door or yellow one. Thank you. Down the door. Which. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of how. It was kind of inevitable, actually. Oh no. I have to click over it. Now. That should be fine. Uh, no, don't do that. God's sake. Yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, I'll, I'll just do a, a my run-through of the base and uh, just talk through everything we did for the Luxury Hotel. I mean, obviously everything started here in the printing pod. This was the original mini base. I think it's definitely my way of doing bases now is to start with that and then kind of get Atmos suits, get some, get your food and your water and oxygen sorted and then start going out and building like a bigger, better final base, as it were. Um, the final base is obviously here, <laughs> Big Mushroom. This is really the Luxury Hotel. There's the second planetoid too, of course, but everything here is the main one. It's split into five, so they're actually in double towers, and my idea was try and give everyone a room to space. I mean, technically the bathrooms are staring into each other, but we're going to kind of imagine that they look out onto space. Uh, there, there's four rows of bedroom, obviously in the mushroom shape, uh, and then everyone's got their own uh, private bedroom and washroom, including shower, full decoration, including some of the subscribers uh, got specific things. Leo wanted his uh, orange wallpaper, that kind of thing couple of uh, guys is in and out uh, there uh, then the main bit is really down the middle which is all the kind of entertainment and eating areas and everything in between there we've got the uh, nature reserves obviously giving a nice uh, uh, it's just a beach one uh, giving a nice buff to morale morale is crazy high it's kind of in the 60s and 70s depending on who you check with 75 62 66 absolute load on there uh, and then the kitchens are down below, so this is cranking out the Frost Burgers. I'll obviously show you guys the wild farms, you know about them, but there they are. So that's uh, these all producing Frost Burgers. We currently have 11 million kilocalories of, in total, uh, 5 mil is Frost Buns and 4 mil is Frost Burgers. Uh, then the lovely eating areas here, we've got infinite food storage in there, of course. That's down to minus, whatever it is, 30, I think, minus 30. Uh, we have these lovely decorated eating areas, our sporkid room, which is appointingly, was only one. Uh, we should mention the wild farming, we'll get to that in a bit when I'll talk about the food. Uh, then, yeah, we have, these are all eating areas, my lovely lumpy fungus uh, uh, statue room, which is entirely pointless, but uh, it's there. We have some cuddle pip breeding ranches, uh, which dupes can go in if they want to, but also the cuddle pips are just everywhere now, so... That's great, they can get cuddled all over the place. Our little Paku fish tank, which didn't really cool down ever, but it's getting there. A uh, nice aquarium. We had eight Paku in here, we've only got one left, so didn't survive so well. But anyway, that was in there. Uh, what's this iron ore again? Sorry, one sec. Yeah. It's that. Uh, and then what else we got? We got the hospital, which I think really ever got used, but I built it anyway because it was. Thing. Uh, we have Azure Shine Bugs in here. No power for that. I finally got to Azure. That was as far as I was going to go. But I think these guys can eat phosphorite, right? Uh, uh, can they eat phosphorite? I hope so. They can. They're the, they're the last one that can eat phosphorite because the Abyss Bugs eat phosphorus, not refined phosphorus and not phosphorite. So let's keep them there and yeah, be fine. They might make the odd Abyss Bug anyway, so that's cool. Uh, we have the monument room with the excess shine bugs all looking pretty cool. We have wind tunnels that the jeeps love using. The juicer, which we're going to see used hopefully shortly. The espresso machine that does have pinch of pepper nuts for it. 
uh, the soda room, which I'm not sure I actually saw them use, to be honest. But um, anyway, they have carbon dioxide, so they can use it. The surfboard room, the sauna room, and the Piesta Resistance on the top, the beach, which is actually in sunlight from space with a meteor blaster, uh, on actual real sand with a with load of glass stuck in it. So don't put your feet in there. But um, that is uh, it's most of the actual base. I think that is juice with the most route we can i can have a look for that leo i'll have a quick search for that in a bit um yes yeah, so that's the main base we still got atmos suits to the outside i mean obviously the idea is to have them re relaxing inside so these shouldn't be needed but realistically they had to build everything so um these atmos suits are useful still useful they're still there in terms of oxygen obviously what well, i've got four four rodriguez's off to the side pulling in a whole load of oxygen at least when the water's flowing uh so that's keeping the base nice and oxygenated which is good uh, except for the beach, which is a little bit down. Uh, water pipes, all the bathrooms are all done, but the cooling is mainly through the through the SPOM output, which is a was slow. This is a slow way of doing it, but it kind of is slowly working. Um, but that tidies up the water pipes inside, so at least there's a benefit to that. Other than that, we've got cooling loops going to the meteor blasters uh, and the chlorine up here, so I'll jump up to the top left corner. You guys know we have the the gas grass uh it's missing dirt now uh our gassy moose these are just making bracking just for the water coolers that's literally it i'm not using brack wax or plastium or anything funky this is literally just for bracking for our water coolers for an extra plus one morale that's right we did it uh so that's that we have our rockets here uh, that mainly we, we didn't go too much out into space to be honest i did visit I discovered all the planet toys, but we didn't do really any space mining. No space mining. Uh, we popped to the frozen one for some iron. Uh, I think I grabbed some niobium off the hot planet toy. I think it cost us two tubes, unfortunately. Uh, and I got the gassy moves off the moon planet toy. But other than that, I haven't really done much space stuff, to be honest. Uh, the thing I probably should show off is the uh, the Adios one there, which we did break this rocket with, uh, with uh, heating up nuclear waste in the uh, or is it liquid, it's liquid uranium in the metro refinery to break the walls and build this monster uh, which is the first time I've done it so I think this this came out pretty well I mean this is far from optimal but it's pretty good uh, and it really did the job I mean this thing is so flexible it's great so I'd highly recommend this it's a bit of exploity but uh, it's pretty useful I was pretty, thought it was pretty cool uh, we have the chlorine down here for the um, why is everyone suffocating God's sake Ru ruining my wrap up uh, uh, yeah, so the uh, yeah the chlorine room here is fed from the second plantoid with the gas, and then the liquid goes out into the uh, into the gas grass above. Although it's now missing dirt, so that's rather annoying. Um, so that's that. We got our teleporter here. Not really doing anything with that. Um, extra Rodriguez just doing the suits. We have over here water sources we've collected, so a couple of cool steam vents and the salt water geyser. We have the shovel uh, minimum feed ranch, uh, not on here, sorry. We'll grab another dupe over here. I think we, uh, right, I might take a quick break from the wrap up just to deal with this dupe. Uh, next in, uh, bee berry, only because we shouldn't have to, I shouldn't have to go too long but hold on let me just put be very on the guest schedule of course we have a guest schedule which is all downtime which is great so most tubes are on that now we haven't finished yet but by the end of it we'll have everyone except the caretakers on there and um, the thing i just wanted to pause quickly for the wrap up was for this can anyone do this i haven't got no available errands got no power Going on. Power available zero. Huh? What's going on here? What? This has power. I mean, this is this is literally not burning because it has power. What's going on this weird. This transformer's acting up. I'm going for a quick save. I'll grab some water. Did a lot of talking. I'll stay hydrated. Okay, for some reason that transform was taking a while. Okay, right, head take care, caretakers on it. So 
Uh, yeah, we'll grab, well, we'll leave that on the background, right. Uh, can I continue or should I wait for this to finish? How long do you think it's going to take? Caretakers on it. Risky whiskey. We do need an artist to come do this, so. Uh. Try nine. Let's try nine. Okay. Now I can take it off the yellow alert. Right. Continue on. Yeah, we have the minimum feed shovel ranch. I think this ranch has caused the most confusion, at least on the tutorial bytes. Well, I can see a lot of people seem to think that the latest update has broken the minimum feed ranch. It has not. Uh, the minimum feed ranch still works exactly the same as it does before because they, they, they did change the starvation hitting the reproduction. But when they're born, the shovel has enough calories to... Um, to lay an egg just being groomed so they they are not starving if you're starvation ranching them they they do not technically starve at least till after they drop the first egg then the second one are uh, beyond that point if you've got the minimum feed ranches you are keeping them satisfied enough for their reproduction to go up by two percent per cycle uh, so yeah the paku the paku one was broken yeah but everything else i think was fine um, so the minimum feed rush still works. I think there was, there's a lot of confusion about how this actually works in the first place, which is causing the confusion. Uh, people didn't quite understand that these things are meant to only reproduce very slowly, but you still get second egg per lifetime, so the number gets cut. Uh, but yeah, it does still work, and it is still working. So uh, as you can see, that is producing us a whole load of meat to support the frost burgers. Of course, we're onto the food in a bit. On. There's a bit of infinite storage, a bit of natural gas in here and hydrogen in here. I, I didn't really use this properly. I mean, I just shoved some stuff in there and uh, kind of left it. We have our infinite water storage, which is, to be honest, relatively low in terms of water, uh, but it is there. Uh, and then we're on to the wild farm. So we spent ages on this. Oh, is everyone's, everyone's just loving the beach and just suffocating up here. Um, I'm just wondering if there's a way I can like uh, pull this over as well because I'm I'm getting rather fed up with this to be honest. Oh, there's no room for a vent, is there? Uh, uh, so what I'll do, except this isn't reachable in here either. Oh, none of this is reachable. Um, we'll have to come down here. Uh, okay. I'm going to do that. Yep. I'm just getting a little bit fed off of the the notifications like all the flipping time just suffocating when it's just it's just nonsense they're fine i don't know why the power is struggling so much as well hmm. petroleum generator the reason we're not getting full petroleum out of this suffocation beach you want to get tan yeah They're not really suffocating. They like they, they, all they have to do is go to somewhere where there's oxygen. It's, we're just struggling because it's right at the top. It's the end of the. I'm gonna try and steal this one. Yeah, double pipe and bridge. Well, the thing is, so I want to bridge this one on this. I want to bring this one on this way, but if I don't put another bridge, then it will screw up the flow direction on here. So, that's why we've got to make sure it's perfect. Right, so we'll jump back to the. This is a very interrupted uh, wrap up, basically, because we've got a, the base is still running. So, okay, good. Right, see if we can steal this extra oxygen from in here and uh, chuck it into these two, and then sort this problem out. Go. Well, I don't know how much oxygen there. This seems very not used. So, perfect. All right. Uh, I could, but there's no option here to dart. That's why I didn't bother, because <laughs> there wasn't any here. So I just took it from where there was actually stuff. Anyway, it'll, it'll go right to left, so it's uh, it's not an issue. Hmm, we'll see. Maybe it just backed up, though. Maybe there wasn't actually that lot much to spare, but we'll take some of it. 
Okay, so that'll calm them down. What's the yellow alert now? The door. Okay, cool. Right. Sorry, back to that. We get distracted. Um, yeah, so the juicer, which we're yet to see, although we now finally have bristle blossoms ready to go. Uh, we may have to manually harvest these, but I'll try and I'll see if we can let them drop. I mean, we have a little bit of time left, so um, we don't have that much time left. Okay, well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set this row to harvest, for example, and see if we can uh, get it done. See if we can get the juicer going. But yes, this is the amount of food for one juicer. So mealwood, bristle blossoms, and uh, mushrooms, dust caps, just for the juicer. And then over here, we've got sleep wheat for the frost buns and lettuce for the frost burgers. A whole load of wild planting. This took ages, I'm sure you guys know, but uh, we stuck with it. And then also thimble reeds, which is just really helpful for... Um, just for the uh, um, for the suits and for the paintings and for all the other stuff we had to make out of reed fiber. So actually, I'd highly recommend a wild reed fiber farm. It's it's very useful. Uh, okay, right, nice. Let's take those off. So I think we've we've got some some bristle blossom going. So that means I'll just let that go up and we'll just use the juicer. We'll see the juicer going. Uh, over here we've got the pinch of pepper farm, which is obviously for this breast machine. Hi, Cassie. Cassie. We're just wrapping up. We're wrapping up the series. Um, so uh, you're just doing, we're going through the summary of the base. Uh, so yeah, the pinch pepper, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to finish this because annoyingly I didn't have enough seeds and then we have to rely on the, the plants growing to get more seeds to plant more plants, but very time consuming. So we started with about two rows of seeds. We've kind of got five, four and a bit planted. Um, we have used the espresso machine, so we'll count that as a win. Um, a little cobalt volcano there as well. This is, uh, yeah, probably take this out too. So this is really an ongoing project. Unfortunately, we didn't finish it, but this is the amount we need for one espresso machine. Uh, and then below here, I mean, we just made a mess at the bottom, to be honest. I did strip mine the entire oil by I'm looking for slicks rays, which there weren't any because it's a rhyme map. I should mention that it's a rhyme map. Uh, there's still some cold areas, but honestly, everywhere is pretty hot right now. Uh, down here, I've still got the metal refinery. I don't know why I didn't put that in the industrial brick. Um, and the oil wells that are just feeding the petroleum boiler. So quick zoom on over here. Industrial brick, kind of standard design. Ten Slickster ranches. Uh, ten petroleum, sorry, five petroleum boilers. Five petroleum generators. Uh, Slickster's coming up here. Molten Slickster's. This guy shouldn't be here. Get rid of those. Uh, molecular Forge still outside. It's going to be a bit inside. Some glass. Uh, and a petroleum boiler, which has caused quite a few problems, to be honest. But instead, it's doing all right. It's doing all right. Um, so, yeah. That's, uh, I think that's kind of it for those plant I really wish they'd stop suffocating. Oof. I, I just cannot get enough oxygen up here. That's the problem. Just cannot, because they are, they're using it elsewhere. Uh, I'd have to pull it in from, like, somewhere completely different. Uh. No, well, I'm glad you reached a thousand cycles. Well, that's, that's a good job going. Uh, you're out of dirt. You're struggling with power generation. Oh, well, I'm glad, I'm glad I could help. That was some vent. Yeah, but, but the thing is, Killjoy, if, if they're, if they're still pulling oxygen, then they are needed. That's the problem. Um, like, uh, that's kind of the definition of needed, so. Uh, oh, it's so annoying. I just wonder if I could put some, uh, oxygen diffusers in. Oh, let's try, I should have tried the solution a while back. But let's try. I'm literally just going to shove some of these in. See if that can be. Uh, okay. But I think hopefully for you guys that kind of summarizes the the base on here. That say this is the most impressive base. I think um, I'm quite happy with how it turned out, especially the mushroom. Uh, I'll do a quick run through the overlays just so you guys can see. But in terms of oxygen, um, obviously the base is good, except for the damn beach uh, and everywhere else is kind of carbon dioxide. But that's fine. It's not a problem. Okay. This is all Atmos who accessed. Uh, power wise, a quick look at that. Ooh. Um, we've got these giant lines coming up into the base to power all our recreation. But other than that, there's a big heavy watt spine that kind of runs down here and that feeds also into the industrial brick. And then basically lines just come off of that. So it's relatively neat, but I don't really plan this out. Uh, what else have we got? Temperature overlay. Like I said, we've got rhyme, uh, here. So still some cold areas where I haven't dug and everywhere else is pretty damn hot right now, but, uh, not too bad. Uh, I'll skip the materials, yeah, skip the light overlay. Uh, pipes, liquid pipes. Let's say we've got the cooling loop here at the top. We've got the chlorine on the left, the uh, bathrooms going through there. Uh, we then have this main kind of bus idea of 
water pipes going up and down, oil going up, uh, up, uh, petroleum going up, I think, uh, which is fairly neat. Took me, uh, well, yes, quite a lot of memoirs as well. Uh, rip to the uh, the dupes that died in the space. Uh, we reincarnated them all, so it's fine. Yeah, and then cooling loops and all the farms, basically. So relatively neat on that. Gas lines, I don't think there's too much. Just uh, these are natural gas lines. I suppose they're actually feeding there. So uh, from the oil wells, uh, we have this one through chlorine from the second plantoid. And other than that, it's really just the oxygen line. So this nice thing over here, which just about works. So fairly neat. Uh, right, have I got anything else in the overlays? What else is it? What are the other overlays? Uh, uh, plants, uh, plants. We care about plants. There's the wild farms. There you are. A lot of plants. Uh, rooms overlays. We got some uh, stables there. The old laboratory around the printing pod still intact. Uh, and the here is the the base itself. We got a lot of dining halls, recreation, uh, some ranches, and uh, the bedrooms and the bathrooms, hospital, nature reserves. That's looking pretty neat. Uh, what else? Nice on the overlays. Uh, Automation overlay, just to quick point out that there's very little automation um, other than the ranches, bit of incubators. I think people overestimate how useful automation is. I mean, just for like practical things, you really don't need that much. So usually just turning stuff off with a quick sensor. A um, little bit there. And then in terms of conveyor rails, so we have blast shot coming up from the um, from the industrial brick. We've got some, a lot of eggs coming out of the industrial brick as well we then have the food coming up from the ranches uh, that's all coming up into the infinite food storage and the kitchens and stuff and the blast shot goes up to the top right i think that kind of summarizes that i want to have a quick look at the um did we get did we get the juice juicer working they better not have done it without me the juicer is going right okay everyone uh <laughs> just gonna run. That was someone's bedroom. Um, the juicer is going. We have finally got the juicer going. There you go. So this is what took like I I don't even know fifteen hours maybe uh, of juicing juicing action is now finally complete. So we can uh, chalk that one up to a win. That was a very long one. Uh, there you go. Right, juice is finally done. Watching that sweet juice. Exactly, this is the <laughs> this is one of the reasons. Right, um, so that's it for the main planetoid. I'll quickly cover the second planetoid because obviously we built the second base too after I realised that I did not have enough space on the first one for all of my subscribers. Uh, I made this one. I tried to do an interesting shape <laughs> and uh, I went with a circle. I've never done a circle before and it came. I think the circle itself came out all right, but the, the wallpaper I did not do the best job on. It's not very even, but it, is, it still looks cool. So uh, I'll go with it. This one's not as nice as the main planetoid, obviously. Um, they've still got the frost burgers, so that's cool. They're getting it from the main planetoid. Um, but they don't have all the um, recreation, because I don't have enough power over here. And also, they don't have the paintings. So I, didn't have to, I couldn't be bothered to put the reed fiber across. So, um, yeah, that kind of sucks. Oh, do I need to... Have I got the clothes? We have the clothes, right. Uh, let's see if we can... I'll quickly ping the clothes across, just to make sure everyone's, uh, everyone's well-dressed. Um, but yeah, on the second planetoid, I mean, it's mainly the base. Again, similar idea with the bedrooms and bathrooms uh, and the uh, great halls. So they've got access to those. No nature reserves over here, which is also another miss. Um, infinite food storage, similar cooling, full Rodriguez, chlorine vent there. Um, we've captured that water. There's a water geyser right in the base and there's a uh, cool seam vent over there too. Meteor blasters on top, although this failed because it ran out of power, which is great. Um, I wonder if I have enough batteries, actually. Do I have any batteries? Maybe the problem is I don't actually have any batteries on this planetoid. I just have the one. So that's probably my bad. I should have put some batteries over here, I think. Um, there you go. Just realising that now. The end of the run. But yeah, that's mainly it for the second planetoid. So not too much over here, but... Um, some stuff, some stuff. Uh, mainly just a place to put, uh, put some juice. Right, I'm going to take this dupe as the last dupe. Um, unfortunately, so... My full list, I think, was 131, if I remember. And uh, I'm going to add in the beans that hang in here uh, as 128. And I am three short. So apologies to uh, Ed John's uh, 
Trocos and Explicit License. Um, you three were on the list just before the cutoff, and I didn't quite manage to get you in. Uh, I'll say, I, unfortunately, I'm not going to make this run uh, that much longer just to, just to get through it. So apologies to you guys, but thank you for your sub or your gift sub. I can't remember which at this point, but there you go. It was a long time ago. Uh, so uh, let me just double check. Uh, I can't, I need to do, try and do the clothes for you guys, but I can't, beans that hang, I just added you in, where are you? Should be alphabetical, QP, beans that hang. Uh, and who was the other dupe I just put in as well? I can't remember, everyone's sleeping, right? So, who's the other dupe without a suit? Oh, uh, poor, poor Select doesn't have one, weirdly. I'm pretty sure I tried a billion times. Uh, Kihot. Kihokrates as well, and Matas. For some reason, these guys didn't want suits. I'll try and give these guys suits. Uh, Nancy as well doesn't. And these guys. Yeah. Okay. Well, I've got so many over here. So, let's say I tried. I definitely Nancy. Uh, all right. There we go. So, uh, yeah, not too much on this planetoid, but that's about it. Um, mm, right, yeah, that kind of summarizes it. I'll just quickly go to the other plant toys. So, so we touched the, we grabbed some niobium here. That's all we did off the superconductive. We popped to the frozen one to mine out all the wolframite and grab some iron. That was about it. And the others, we, we didn't visit the marsh. Oh, we did visit marshy. Why did we do that? Maybe just because we could. I don't know. Um, and we visited the regolith for some shove voles, actually. There you go. We nicked some shove voles for the ranch. Uh, grab some gassy moves from there and um but yeah i think that's it i think i've covered everything you guys tell me in chat if i've missed anything so i'll do an, i'll do a proper youtube video where i'll try and think a bit more uh thoroughly um the thing we do want to do is work out who has the highest morale right uh i already see unfortunately it doesn't tell you right so so 77 i saw i'm gonna have to click through all these damn tubes aren't i 77 for cyberdyne uh well this can go higher 78 there we go it was Anyone that's near, we can go up higher. 49. 82. 82 for flea. That might be uh, 80 for monkey. Right, flea's currently winning. Let's see. Oh, God, come on, mass will. Uh, no one's quite in the 80s yet. 17 to 79. So Kem's on 79, 80. Uh, oh, is it in the vital? Well, that might be a quick way to do it. <laughs> ah, thank you. Uh, thank you, Second Trot. Save me a lot of clicking. Right, who's highest? Uh, oh, this is the second planetoid. This is out of order. 73. Where's the main planetoid? This is not in order. Well, that's great. I mean, okay, well, at least I can see it quicker. 80. Oof. I mean, this doesn't work, does it? Why is it not working? Is this like some slash thing? Uh, is it not, it's not including the slash thing? Or is this needed? Um, uh, so, okay, I'm going to go back to my, my previous approach. Uh, 82 is what I had, right? I do I do want to find who has the highest. Uh, There's a 79 there. 79. Oh, 80, 81, 82, 84. We can get uh, none and off to 84. There you go. Uh, that's, uh, I, I, want, I will check after as well. We'll see what the buffs he's got. Anyone, anyone close to 84? Pretty high. Uh, get in there. Come on. Gotta click through 100 dupes. Let's take a while. Uh, 80. 80 for... Ooh. War Cannon. 82. 85 for War Cannon. There we go. I think this is going to be the end because the second plant is not as good. Uh... I think that's it. War Cannon, you are the winner. 
Let's quickly find War Cannon. Uh, I do want to see what buffs he's got. I don't know what the, the record is for um, morale, but... Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure I haven't beaten it, but it's pretty good. Let's see, where is he? 85 morale. This is the... Uh, this is it. You're the happiest War Cannon. Uh, 16 for the Superb Meal. Gorgeous Decor. 9 from Skills. Sun Kiss. Great Hall. Nature Reserve. Wind Swept. 5 Shift Breaks. Soda Fill. Private Bedroom. Showered, washroom, recently danced, stoked, extra hydrated, duplicate. There you go. That's a 85. I think that's good going. So there you go. Um, right. But I'm just going to quickly double check my list to make sure I haven't missed anything. But I don't think I have. Oh, uh, the last thing I should do, I will just quickly on the schedules i will move everybody onto the guest schedule this is a little bit cheaty i appreciate that um so yeah like i said earlier i don't think the caretakers i have are actually enough and i don't think that this base is actually self-sufficient uh there are some issues here to be honest and like i say i think a lot of that though came from the fact that there are way more dupes in here than i planned for so uh uh, yeah, they, these are the these are my five caretakers. My care, caretaker George, they unlocked on the uh, from the story trait. Uh, the assistant caretaker, head caretaker, and dog's body. All my original dupes. Those are the three originals. And they're all still alive, although uh, say head care head caretaker or was it assistant caretaker tried to trap their head and kill themselves. So we saved them. And Razor, I'm letting you volunteer to be uh, a um, caretaker like you asked. But I don't think it's actually enough to run the base, unfortunately. So. Uh, um, yeah, I, I, in theory, it's nice, but I don't think it actually 100% works. But uh, I think that is it, really. So we have, we've done everything we set out to do. Uh, oh, did he die earlier? <laughs> Shh, don't. Okay, I completely forgot about that. But um, Dog's body might have died earlier on, and we replaced him. But the other two maybe survived. Um, yeah, that sounds about right. So, yeah, I, we, we've set out to do everything we've come to to do i think it's a fun idea this so if you want to have a go yourself i mean please let me know let me know how it goes uh if you've watched all the way through this i mean a huge thank you for all these 90 episodes um so uh yeah just a huge thanks to you guys for watching through there are i've got lots more vods on youtube so if you're if you're missing this series and you want to watch something else i'm sure there's there's more series for me to watch on there if you want to pop on of course you've always got the tutorial bites um but I mean, I think that is it for this run. So a huge thank you for watching this series. I hope you enjoyed and I hope I'll see you in the next one.